Don't be sad because it's over. Be happy because it happened. <laughs> Just like the Roman Empire. <laughs> <laughs> Angie here. Welcome to our channel. Let's continue gallivanting, shall we? So now we're following Lorenzo again with that yellow flag. We're going to the Palatinate, I think he says. Over there. Oh, up there. The, up there. And here's the Colosseum. But I like to know what that is all about because that looks so interesting. Nice column, no? Yes. Nice or tower or whatever. Oop. This is awesome. I got to learn my ancestors. <laughs> you got to learn what? My ancestors. <laughs> you know what? I'm As Roman meaning. You have Roman uh, ancestors. Yes, I have. Look. My foot. See? <laughs> <laughs> the Romans, they truly love their entertainment, gruesome as it may be. They built amphitheaters wherever they went. But the grandest of them all is the Colosseum in Rome, which we visited in the last episode of our tour. But there is so much more to see and experience in Rome. So, let's continue our exploration and follow Lorenzo. Our first stop is the Arch of Constantine. This monument holds great significance as it was dedicated to Roman Emperor in his 10th year of reign. It also commemorates Constantine's victory against Maxentius at the Battle of Milvian Bridge in AD 312, which secured his control of the Western Roman Empire. As we examine this amazing monument, you'll notice an inscription in Roman that reads, to the Emperor Flavius Constantine the Great, pious and fortunate, the Senate and people of Rome, because by divine inspiration and his greatness of spirit, with his army, he avenged the state on both the tyrant and all his faction at once in rightful battle, dedicated this arch as a mark of triumph. Next, we're heading towards another triumphal arch known as the Arch of Titus. If you're interested in the history of Jerusalem and its siege by the Roman, this is a must-see. Emperor Domitian erected it in approximately 81 CE to celebrate the victories of his father Vespasian and his brother Titus in the Jewish War, during which Jerusalem was sacked and the vast riches of its temple were plundered. This arch not only has political significance, but also reflects the divinity of Emperor Titus. Upon closer inspection, you'll notice some decorative elements. Although the arch has suffered over the years, one panel still shows a triumphant procession carrying the plunder taken from the Temple of Jerusalem. The Emperor's Fountain. Wow, look at this fountain. Awesome. You like it? Yes, I do. I, I find something nice. Wait, that you may not see. Because you have no GoPro. Yes. Our next destination is the Palatine Hill. From here, we have a panoramic view of the Roman Forum, the heart of ancient Rome, where all political, religious, and social activities took place. Surrounded by ancient buildings, it remains the most celebrated meeting place in the world. Oh, look at this. That's the Colosseum yeah. over there. Yeah. Let's pan this around. What? And here is the ruins. And um, yeah. And look at all those 
excavation that they have ruins that they have this is absolutely awesome wow the privilege of being an emperor you have your own rose garden look at this they never promised me a rose garden but he had one not fair you. <laughs> no we are now at the palat palatine hill yes oh i said something nice and here you can see the beautiful view of the capital hill a beautiful city and so we're going to walk over there some people can take pictures and whatnot i think i'm going to do to have a photo shoot over there who knows we shall see let's go there are several temples erected in the forum one of them is the temple of antoninos and faustina erected by the emperor dedicated to his beloved but deceased wife and regarded as a goddess just like his wife emperor antoninos was deified by his successor marcus aurelius years passed and it became a roman catholic church there's so much to discover in rome that it would take a lifetime to see and understand its history finally the time has arrived for lorenzo to say goodbye it was the most informative tour we've experienced and he truly did justice to his work thank you lorenzo don't be sad because it's over be happy because it happened <laughs> just like the Roman empire <laughs> so <laughs> So, time to say goodbye, regular the radius. Before that, I wanted to thank you for your patience, uh, for sticking with me to the very end. Uh. Congratulations for reaching the last stop of the tour. Uh. Very good. After this long and fascinating walk through the historical spots of Rome, it's time to enjoy a well-deserved dinner. Thanks to the wonders of technology like Google, we found this cozy little restaurant not far from the Coliseum with excellent reviews. You need to find yourself food. Yes. Uh, Coca-Cola. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, Coke, no bother. Uh, little, little bottle. Zero Oh. No, no bother. They don't have big bottle. Okay. Yeah. We, after a long walk, this is a well deserved water. Yeah. Nice. You want one of this? One of this? Yes. They, two, two, two. Yes. Okay, they don't have big bottle, but anyways, fine. Finally, today, spaghetti al yo yo. I have here my favorite. Yes. Oh my goodness. What is that? It's a. Bruschetta. Oh, this is just like the La Tabla in Spain. <laughs> Almost. Finally, my spaghetti. It smells so good. Oh. oh. Look at this. Is this a potato? No. That is just. This is simply fantastic. Wow. Now well, this is a real spaghetti al yo yo, Roman style. Mm. Look at that. Just look at the texture. Wow. And there is this, um, this one is a calamari. Oh my soul. Let me taste, taste this. Because this is simply amazing. Test, test. Oh, the smell of squid is simple. Nice. Squid delicious. Yes. Mm. Good. Okay. Another big dish. Thank you. Okay. Very, very good. Thank you. Oh. Very thank you. I must tell you, this is the best spaghetti al yo I've eaten. You see, when I'm in Germany, I always order this because this is my favorite. But now that I'm here in Rome, I said I'm going to order this one. I've been looking for beautiful, tasty. <laughs> 
and so I um I've never tasted this the way they like this. This is absolutely awesome. Wow, fantastic taste. I'm happy. The gentleman next to me he ordered something. What is that, lamb? No, it's an Angus steak. <gasps> wow. Way too much pepper for my liking. That's okay. I can have some. I mean, way too much. Uh, Ah, it's okay. Good and appetite, do. Yum. I must tell you, this is a small restaurant. That's nothing, not so big. But boy, don't I have food for you. Really fine. Oh, yes. Yes, thank you. Yes, and so, yeah, we're ready to go home. He's really enthusiastic. I like him. <laughs> yes. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. And perhaps it has inspired you to visit the ancient Roman city one day. Thank you once again for your precious time. And until the next adventure. Cheers! <music>